Welcome to our course, Doing Math in Python. So in this lesson, what we're going to do is that we're going to understand how to measure dispersion using range. So range is actually one of the basic technique that we use if we would like to understand how dispersed our data is. So what is range? Range is the difference between the highest and the lowest values in our data. And range is actually very important in finance because it is used to measure the volatility of a security. That value of the measure is the size that represents the security level of the risk. So we will be having more about this one when we go to our course of finance, how to use data science in finance, how to do this one using Python versus that we're going to define a certain function. So we have these definitions or definition I mean, def fine range, and we have here numbers, which is our parameter. And then here, we have the variables lowest and highest using, of course, the mean and the max function, very simple. And we have here the variable that represents the range, which is equal to the highest minus the lowest. And we would like to return the lowest value, then the highest value, and of course, the range. This time, we're going now to have this list of numbers that represents the income. And then what we are going to do is we're going to set the variables lowest highest r by calling our function find range and then income and we're going to print the results and so let's have this one and see the lowest value is 3 and the highest value is 56 and the range is 53 so this is how range or how disperse our data is so if you notice the dispersion is actually very much high. It's because the value is really very big. So another example is this. For example, we are going to identify how to disperse the prices of certain goods. So again, we define the function, the range, and we have this parameter. And then we set the different variables, the lowest and the highest using, of course, the mean and the max functions. And we have set here the r which is the value between the highest and the lowest and then we return the lowest the highest and r and so here with this list of numbers of the prices and we are now going to call the function the def i mean the range by setting that to lowest highest and r variables and then we're going to print the results so let's execute this one and then we have the lowest is 4, the highest is 56, and then the range is 52. Once again, this is very helpful if we would like to understand how dispersed or how spread our value is. So when the result is very small, then that would mean that our data set is more or less closer to each other. It's not so spread. And actually, we can also visualize the dispersion of our data set using a visualization for example if we would like to have a distribution plot do you want to know more about this channel just click these cards we do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials deep learning mathematics and a lot more here you can always learn an upskill for free